Okay, welcome to the last video, video number four, for this project number two, Excel formulas and functions. What we're going to do is focus on steps 15, 16, and 17. 15 will be using the frequency function. 16 will be, or step 16 will be inserting a footer, and 17 will be just saving and uploading. So first we'll start with step number 15. This one was actually pretty challenging. I had to do some online research and look through the Excel help help option and that's what the instruction suggested. So basically what we want to do is determine the number or frequency of employees who work less than 20 hours. So we're going to focus on hours worked and of all the employees here we want to see which ones worked less than 20 hours between 20 and 29 hours between 30 and 40 hours and over 40 hours if you scroll down a little bit do you see here's a, a sub table over here cells J28 to 31 list the ranges so these are the ranges where we want to find the number of employees in each range. To do this, we need to translate a range, which is kind of a mixture of alphanumeric characters, into correct values for the bin column, right here, bin column, cells I28 to I30. So this is sort of statistics. I'm not sure if any of you have taken Business 310, but for each of these bins, there's a lower limit and an upper limit sort of thing. The bin, so this bin, the maximum that can be in this bin is 19. So the first bin would be 19. We just type 19 in there. Second bin goes from 20 to 29. So the maximum of that bin is 29 and for 30 to 40 the maximum is 40. So we have our three bins 19, 29, and 40. Next the instructions say that we need to enter the frequency function in the range K28 to K31. So here's K28 to K31 and this work got a this is where it got a little tricky. What you have to do instead of inserting the function and there may be a way to do it that way but the way that I did it was you just highlight K28 to K31 so what we're going to do is insert a function that will return values for all of these cells so we don't want to click in an individual cell we want this function to apply to all of these cells to do that we go up to the top over here and there's this is where we can put our cursor we put our cursor in there and we want to insert the function frequency so we can just type frequency and then click on it double click okay, if you double click it enters a frequency now we have two values we need to enter the data array and the bins array the data array if we scroll up is the data that we're we're going to search from so that I believe one moment okay the data array would be the hours worked we want this basically this whole range of data that's what we want to sort of subdivide into the different bins so we highlight the data array D5 to D16 and then we just put a comma there. Now we want the bins array. That's over here. The bins array is going to be from, let's see, I28 to I30. And we only need three bins because the fourth bin by default will everything that doesn't fit within the three bins will be put into the fourth bin which is the over 40 everyone that worked over 40 hours and that does it automatically so we don't have to include this this blank box over here 
So now all we do is we close the parentheses and so we have the data array, the bins array, and we have where we want the values outputted over here. We highlight those four cells. Now what I learned from my research is that if you hit enter it won't work. When, whenever you enter you have a frequency function and you're referring or you, you're trying to get output for multiple cells you need to instead of pressing enter up here you have to press the control key on your keyboard the shift key and the enter key so it's control shift enter so I'll do that now control shift enter and as you can see calculated the, the formula across all these four cells so in bin 0 to 19 hours there's one employee and you can kind of verify that you look over here uh, one employee worked 15 hours 20 to 29 hours one employee worked 20 to 29 hours and looks like from 30 to 40 hours there are four employees and over 40 hours six employees and that checks out so we've completed step number 15. Let's go ahead and save our work. It's always a good practice to save frequency. Frequently you can use the uh, save button up here on the top and we want to save it with the same file name because when we upload it it's got to be the exact same so it will recognize it. Alternatively you can press Control S, save. And for step 16 what we need to do is create a footer. So I got help from Dr. Halverson on this one. Um, I was doing it actually a different way, but the best way to do it to get the points, um, you have to basically go to the uh, page layout tab. So let's go up here to the, the toolbar page layout. And what we want is the page setup group. So as you can see over here, page setup, and we want the options box. So we click on page setup and then we want header footer so we it's on page right now we click header footer and basically we want a custom footer so we click custom footer and it gives us a left section a center section and a right section so in the left section our instructions say we want to type in the text exploring series on the left so X just type in exploring series then in the center section we want to insert a sheet name code so I learned from Dr. Halverson that there are two boxes that we use. The ones right over here. This one is insert sheet name. So by clicking that, it will automatically locate when we do the printing and the previewing the sheet name and it'll enter that here. It's a code. It's a sheet name code. And so for the right section, we click on there and the cursor is blinking we want the file name code on the right side so file name code is here insert file name and that's the file name code we click OK and as you can see it has exploring series payroll data and the file name we click OK and we can actually preview what we did by going to view the view tab and looking at the page layout form. So if we scroll down, we see the the header, the custom footer rather, exploring series on the left, payroll data in the middle, using the sheet name code and file name code right here. There's our file name. To get back, all we do is click on the normal view we can click on the normal view he here or the normal view here so click on that or to get back we click on the normal view here and it takes us back to our normal view that completes step number 16 
all we have to do is save the workbook so we press control s and for step 17 we want to close the workbook and then exit Excel and submit the workbook as directed so we can go to open up our browser and we just have to log into my IT lab so let's bring that up again we want to sign in choose Microsoft Office 2013 and enter username and password okay once we've logged in with our username and password we click on our course and we want to submit it the same place that we downloaded it so we click course materials And we scroll down to Project 2 and the little triangle options tab we click on and we click open. So we go to upload completed file. We browse for our file wherever you saved it and you click upload and go through the steps and submit for grading and you should get a score.